Hey everyone, and welcome to part 31 of the Zora Household Let's Play. So as you guys know, we are about to welcome the third generation of the Zora family, guys. It is so close, I can almost feel it. Oh my gosh, so exciting. So excited for my love bug here. Um, I, you guys gave me a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton of awesome baby names and I have narrowed it down to two chosen names, one for a boy and one for a girl. Of course, as you guys know, I wholeheartedly plan to have them adopt a child in the near future or so. So um, this pool of names would probably also be used for it, um, that as well. So. Uh, if you guys want to just keep on spewing names, you're more than welcome because um, I'll need them in not too long anyways. So, as we know, we are so close to popping. Um, what we're going to have Aubrey do right now, though, is we're going to have him try and fulfill this dang uh, want here, or this opportunity, and uh, visit some of our neighbors, none of which are home, apparently. I don't know where everybody is today. Like, what is so interesting that none of you guys are home? Ugh. <laughs> uh, where's the Zora household, for that matter? And why is it? Why does it seem to be that Seth is the only one who lives in the Zora household anymore? Like, literally, there's nobody home. Like, I almost want to reset everybody just to see if something's going on, because I think I had that suspicion in the last part, but I didn't do it. So, <laughs> I don't even know. I'm going to do that really quick. Reset Sim all. And just see if that does anything. I mean, obviously that sends everybody home. So maybe we can visit his mom. And we'll go ahead and have Jalen fix some dinner for them, actually, since now they're both hungry. Um, so we'll have them serve some dinner. Goopy Carbonara sounds good. I'm so excited for these soon to be parents. Can't even freaking deal. Let's go ahead and seat Aubrey down in front of the television for a minute though. Just so he can kind of chill out while Mama Bear to be over here goes ahead and um, makes them some dinner. Um, what does she have a want for? She wants to eat cobbler with grapes. I don't even know if we could do that for you, boo boo. So we're just gonna we're just gonna skip that one. <laughs> we'll skip that one. Um, yeah. So she's just fixing up some food for the two of them, and then we will definitely try and go visit some of the family. But I don't understand why Seth is the only one there. I know for a fact that. Like, did Jael maybe move out and just disappear? No, we saw her in the town, like, a few days ago. That couldn't have happened. Who knows? I need to add more people to this town anyway. <laughs> um, okay, so she should be just about finished in not too long here. And then we need to get somebody to clean this freaking... <laughs> the sink here is an atr... A, a dis an atrocity? Why did I just forget my words, my language here? Atrocious? I know atrocious works, but like a monstrosity, I think is maybe what I'm trying to go for. Come on, Aubrey, go ahead and get you some food, sir. Get you some food. There we go. You're good, boo boo. Um, and then we'll go ahead and send her on to bed because she's getting pretty sleepy. Anyways. And, um,. I wonder what's going through her head. I wonder if she's excited or if she's nervous. I feel like she would be ridiculously nervous. Like, I feel like she's not even letting herself think too hard about it. Not that she's not happy about it or that she doesn't want to have a child. It's not like a depression type of anxiety. It's just, oh my gosh, I'm going to have to take care of a life <laughs> type of anxiety that I think any new parent would probably go through. I wouldn't know personally, <laughs> but, you know, I'm assuming. <gasps> and it's happening! Oh my gosh, guys. Okay, we're going to go ahead and skip through the, the birthing part. We'll be right back. Oh my gosh, guys. It's a baby girl. Eee! <laughs> 
I'm trying to contain my excitement. I always get super giddy about baby girls. I don't know why. I don't know why. But the name I chose for a baby girl was one that I actually saw suggested several times, which was Skylar. Now, I will admit this is a little influenced from Breaking Bad because Skylar was one of my more loved characters from that show. Although Jesse is definitely my top favorite. <laughs> but yes, I just thought Skylar Brink sounds very nice. Very interesting. So we are going to name our baby girl Skylar. And let's go ahead and randomize these. Um, Artistic loves the outdoors. Sure, that makes sense. <gasps> oh, we're welcoming baby, uh, the first baby of the third generation of the Zora family. Now the Brink family, of course. Oh, hello there. It looks like she has her mama's skin tone. Oh my gosh. How precious. How freaking precious. I always get super excited about the babies. I can't help it. Oh my god, I can't even... Eee, I'm so happy for them. I wonder... He wants to snuggle his little one. But of course, he's absolutely exhausted right now. So it's understandable that he just kind of wants to go to bed. Really quick though, I feel like this is the wrong coloring for a, a girl's bed. You know what I'm saying? So I think we'll make this um, kind of more white, I suppose. And then we'll make the clothy part a color. A color. Is that flames? What the actual heck? Ooh, I like the polka dots here. What is this from? It's a custom content thing, apparently. I like it. Yes, that's exactly what we'll go for. <laughs> Me gusta. Very cute. I feel like that's something that would be right up Jalen's alley of stylizing, so perfection and then we'll go ahead and put our little baby girl Skylar to oops 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 to Betty by oh my gosh oh my gosh I cannot even I'm so happy for them and of course she's already very close to her daughter so let's go ahead and put her in the crib you got this mama bear you got this Somebody's actually calling her while she is super sleepy, but we'll go ahead and answer it really quick, you know. Even though we just gave birth to something. No, we don't want to go on a date. We just gave birth. <laughs> Hello. How freaking rude. Okay, so since everybody now is just heading on to sleepy bye, we'll go ahead and zoom past this, guys, and we'll be right back when they wake up. Alrighty guys, so we are back and we're actually going to go ahead and wake up Mr. Aubrey here to go take care of baby girl who is screaming her booty off. We'll go ahead and let Jalen sleep through since she just had a very difficult night and we'll do, we'll do some daddy duty. He should have a day off. Yeah, he does. That's good. He does indeed have the day off. She's feeling not so hot, so we're going to go ahead and snuggle her, give her a bottle and play with our daughter. Look how precious. Oh, and it looks like Jalen just woke up anyways. Well, we'll get her to use the toilet really quick and just kind of take care of herself for a little while. You know, wind down from the monstrosity that is childbirth. All right. Giving the baby some attention. Go ahead and uh, play with her a little bit. And we'll go ahead and put her back to Betty Bye. And then I think we'll send Mr. Aubrey here on downstairs to use the toilet. And what are you doing, madam? You should definitely grab some breakfast, actually. And, um, yeah, everything should, everything seems to be going really well. He wants to water the plants. What plants do you guys even have to water exactly? <laughs> I wasn't even aware we had any plants. Do we? If we have a garden somewhere and I just let it die, I'm going to be upset. <laughs> I'm gonna be upset. I don't think we have any plans. I'm a little confused as to why he wants to do that, but go ahead and have him eat some leftovers really quick. Oh my gosh, is that where the freaking nectar went? What the actual heck, you guys? Oh my heavenly days. What's the quality of this stuff? Come to think of it. Can we drink this? Drink flame fruit sharamola brands nectar. There we go. We definitely want to drink this. Uh, totally. Hello. It's delicious nectar of the gods, you know? 
What are you doing, sir? Seriously. What are you trying to do here? Oh, apparently you're in Urba's way, so we're gonna have to move you, sir. <laughs> well, at least the nectar works now, we know. Full of life, there's nothing that compares to feeling young and full of life again. What? Does that make us younger? No. <laughs> wishful thinking, guys. Wishful thinking. And I know for a fact, I know for a fact that I have their lifespan on long. I know I do. So what the heck? Ugh, it's one of those dang situations where it doesn't do what I tell it to do, you know? And we'll put teen down at 15 days. Young adult down to 36. Or 30, 36 maybe? There we go. <laughs> adult down to 34. Elder down to like 31. There we go. That's how it's supposed to be. Boy, this sure does go well with food. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sweetheart. <laughs> You say so. I don't know what she's talking about. I don't understand what's going on here. Um, but what we need to do is try and meet our damn neighbors who are never home. Where are these people? They must be like clerks or something because they are never, never home. And it's maddening. Um, is our mom home? Our mom must work at something too. She is. No, she's a coffee courier. She should be home. Right? No, it's Monday. Oh, uh, nobody's around to talk to. Maybe we should just go downtown then, you know? We should go with um, the wife and the baby and try and take, like, a summer festival photo together. What do you guys think? I like the idea. He only has a few more days before he ages up. That is horrible. That is horrifying. Carrie Livingston would like to chat. No, we're good. Didn't they have seven days a minute ago? Did I adjust it wrong? I don't even know. There we go. That's better. I think it was set at 38 days. Trying to remember my own sentence and it ain't working. Alright, so everybody is heading to the fair. And we'll go ahead and change baby girl's diaper really quick. Once we're here. Once we have properly arrived. Allison Tutman. Um, let's take a greeting card photo with everybody. Baby butt should be fine, so that should not be a problem. So we're going to get a nice family greeting card photo, which I'm excited to see how it turns out. Oh, it's so cute. Daddy's holding the baby and Jalen's just kind of like, hi guys. Hi guys. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. Don't mind me. <laughs> um, let's see. Allison Tuckman. I feel like there should be more clerks here, but there aren't. This is going to be fabulous to bring the baby to in the future, though. Hmm. I'm excited for it. I've been thinking about when we're going to end this series, and I'm projecting an end somewhere near when they whenever they adopt their second child I know we're probably only looking at maybe 10 more parts probably not even 10 more parts at the maximum which may be really disappointing to some of you guys but you know at this point I'm launching two new LPs on top of the three that I'm doing right now and I feel like it's time to move forward but there's always the possibility in the future to kind of revisit to kind of you know do a where are they now type of thing you know I could definitely do that because I, I don't think I'm gonna ever get rid of these families there's too much history with them I couldn't bear to actually delete the families delete the saves altogether I would I would cry like I have I'm so in love with the Avondales the Zoras um the Hartwells you know they're they're special parts of me at this point so um that won't be happening don't worry about it um so we could definitely there's always the possibility of you know revisiting so Let's snuggle our baby and give her a bottle. I don't even know if she needs a bottle, but we'll do it anyway. <laughs> Just trying to increase our relationship with our daughter. Can you can you blame us? Can you? No. <laughs> and of course, being the party animal she is, Jalen's heading right on over to dance. 
Oh, so she just turns it on and then goes to get a snow cone. You make so much sense, babe. You make so much sense. <laughs> she is so freaking silly. I don't even know what to do with her. Getting her a snow cone. What flavor are you getting, Missy? Ooh, purple. What's it? What's purple called? Purple? Rainbow. This is probably blue raspberry then. But it's purple. Well, I guess red and blue makes purple, right? Raspberry is red. Blue. Blue raspberry. Purple. Makes sense to me. <laughs> makes sense to me. Where the heck's the baby? He, he just put the baby on the damn floor. Oh, hell no. Come here. We're going to have to pick up our daughter. I love the name Skylar. I love that freaking name. Thank you guys so much for suggesting it. Because I wouldn't have thought of it on my own, even though I love the character from Breaking Bad. I would not have thought of it. And it is so beautiful. And I think it is so fitting for these two very modernized parents who are very young and hip. I feel like a Skylar name is a very young and hip name. Who knows if I'm right or not. It could like originate from the 15th century England for all I know. I doubt it. <laughs> but it's a possibility. Um, <laughs> so we're just playing with our daughter. And I think the day out... I think that's enough for the day out. You know, I would say that they have a kind of, that they should have a kind of date day. But in all honesty, I feel like um, more so than having a date day, they would be, wait a minute, are these folks home? Why is nobody home? Seriously. Like, where the heck is everybody? I'm like really put off by this. Does this start to happen to you guys where you just get here or you just, you um, get to a certain point in your game where nobody's even there anymore. And like everybody just does weird things in your game and nobody's seems to be accessible, I guess is what I'm trying to go for. Yeah, that's pretty much how I feel about it right now. Let's go ahead and put Skylar in her crib. I think the two of them had a nice day out. Drink a perfect bottle of nectar. You know what we should do? We should totally, what are you doing? Aubrey, go home, mister. Did I not tell you to go home? We should totally have the two of them go on a, on a trip. They should totally go on a couple's retreat vacation type of situation and get some time away. Even though, you know, I, I'm thinking in the future a few paces. Because right now they will obviously want to spend all their time at home with the baby girl. Obviously. So... We won't deny them what they desire, of course. Um, but in the future, totally. Feeling important because he's avant-garde. He gave insight into something and Sims listened. Well, good for you, baby boo. I, I highly doubt Jalen really listens when you try to tell her stuff. She's a little bit of a stubborn one. Definitely a stubborn one. Um, she doesn't have a temper or anything like that, but... Like, girl, when she's set in her ways, she's set in her ways. And how long has this been clogged and I haven't known about it? Oh my goodness gravy. Poor thing, just had it popped out a damn baby and has got to, you know, unclog toilets up in this house. Um, <laughs> let's check on Aubrey. We'll go ahead and end this date because they're back home now anyways. And they had a fun date. Wasn't anything too terribly special, but at least it was good. Um, we should have the two of them kind of relax outside sometimes, you know? I feel like that would be, it's a lovely area to relax. And who is this? Hello, Mr. Raccoon. How are you doing, sir? You having a good day? Feeling all right? I see you, see you prowling around my yard over here. Yep, I do. Uh, what, what, what you trying to, what you trying to get into here, mister? Sir? Have you guys seen Over the Hedge? I just, I was just reminded since it was a raccoon of Over the Hedge and I remember that movie vaguely. I feel like I watched it like five years ago. And y'all are probably thinking, my, it came out, it didn't even come out five years ago. Well, I don't know. I don't pay attention, clearly. <laughs> um, okay. So what does he want to do? He wants to become a business partner and buy something worth at least a thousand dollars. Well, aren't we fancy? Honey, your daughter Skylar is your is a baby. You can't text your daughter. Oh my god. <laughs> is it all there, baby girl? Is it all there? 
What's going on in that pretty head of yours, huh? <laughs> she is funny. We'll go ahead and get her to watch some TV since her fun is going down a little bit. He's chatting with somebody. Apparently he's feeling a little lonely in the house. Not sure why you got your wife and your new baby girl. You shouldn't be feeling anything but ecstatic. Um, we'll go ahead and get him to kind of take care of her for a little bit, though. I think she's probably getting a little bit hungry and it's gonna need some social in a few minutes anyways. So might as well get it over with. Go ahead and give her a bottle as well. And then Miss Jalen is just chilling in their lovely, lovely, lovely um, seating area here. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Speaking of which, I was kind of curious as to whether or not, nope, it's not there, so. I was just double checking on something. Um, there was a, originally this house had bookcases lining here, um, the original pictures, and clearly they were custom content bookshelves. Somehow they just didn't get installed. Like most of the custom content in this house just didn't get installed. I feel like no, everything, or pretty much everything but the decorations, the miscellaneous decorations, didn't get get installed at all. And I'm just like, really? Like what? Why not? What the hell? Um, maybe it's just too much. My computer was just like, uh, mate, you don't need that much custom content, so we're just gonna do you this favor and not do it. <laughs> To which I say thank you for watching out for me. Um, what am I blabbering about? Good heavens. She wants to play a game with Aubrey. Well, what do you want to play with Aubrey, my dear? I don't even know if they have a game they could play. I guess they could play like cats or something. Can, who can we chat with? Because we haven't been able to talk to anybody. And I'm just like, is anybody home now? No. Say what? Why is nobody home? Like serious. You know what? I'm, you know what I'm gonna do? Reset sim all, and then I want to see where they go. Hold up. Where are you people? Okay. Where are you going? Seriously, where the hell is she going? I'm gonna follow her. I'm not even joking. I'm gonna follow her. Hey, 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 hey. Wait for me. <laughs> you guys are probably like, what the heck, my? Wait, 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 wait. I'm trying to follow you, ma'am. Trying to follow you. Let's go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Too fast, too fast. Now where are we going? Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Now where are we Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry if you guys, like, freaking hate this, but uh, I'm curious as to where the, in the Lord's name, these folks are going. Because clearly, they are going somewhere they should not be. Oh, this, this is much faster. I can follow them way better in this way. Okay. Where are you guys going? Huh? Watch them just disappear into nothingness. What are y'all doing? What? Everybody is going here and just hanging out at City Hall? Oh! They're having a picket? A protest. Is this where everybody in this city has been for the past few like weeks wow literally everybody's here there's Jael there's freaking I, I would be willing to bet his mother is here somewhere too what the heck is going on there's Ariel our sister oh my gosh guys I feel like we've just discovered something incredible <laughs> holy cow okay 
Well, um, on that note, I think I'll go ahead and end this part right here, guys. I hope y'all enjoyed this part of the Zora Household Let's Play. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what your thoughts are. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe if you have not already. And I will see you guys in the next part of whatever I make. Bye, y'all.